Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learnt early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... <sighs> as I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed. And it has proved a valuable relationship. With still no mention from your contacts of the Precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they had their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moans, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Should not be much longer. I'll let you know as soon as I have something. I hope you're right, Haytham. I should return to my studies. Good evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> Oh, oh, I have an idea well. on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. <laughs> Benjamin Churchwill. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. This business with Silas confuses me. If Britain stands any chance of pushing back the French, they must ally with the natives, not enslave them. Silas is loyal only to his purse. That his actions harm the crown is irrelevant. So long as there are buyers for his product, he'll continue to procure it. All the more reason to stop him, then. My days are spent in Congress with the locals, attempting to convince them that we're the ones they should trust. That the French are merely using them as tools to be abandoned once they've won. Your words must lose their strength when held against the reality of Silas' actions. I've tried to explain that he does not represent us. But he wears the red coat. He commands a fort. I must appear to them either a liar or a fool. Likely both. Take heart, brother. When we deliver them his head, they'll know your words were true. Do you like it here, Charles? There's a certain charm to Boston, I suppose. To all of the colonies, really. Granted, their cities have none of London's sophistication or splendor, but the people are earnest and hardworking. They've a pioneer spirit I find compelling. It's quite something, really, watching a place that's finally found its feet. Has it, though? The French still wage war from up north, and I fear the Spanish have designs upon this place as well. Is this a new world, or just another battlefield? Ah, that's a story old as time itself, and one that's not like to change. We're cruel and desperate creatures, 
set in our conquering ways. The Saxons and the Franks, the Ottomans and Safavids. I could go on for hours. The whole of human history is but a series of conflicts and subjugations. A desire for more and more and more. I pray one day we rise above it. Whilst you pray, I'll act. We'll see who finds success first, hmm? It was an expression. Aye, and a dangerous one. Words have power. Wield them wisely. I've some work I should finish. Let us speak later. Sorry, sir, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. Should we write his family, do you think? Not our business to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. Washington has surrendered for necessity to French forces. Scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those in the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Contract the services of Tom Hart. I'm looking for Mr. Church, Mr. Benjamin Church. Excuse me, do you recognize this likeness? Terribly sorry, but it's important I find this man. A moment, please. I'm looking for the man that fits this likeness. Whatever the occasion, if you've a party, weave the space.
Word arrives from France that the Baron de Montesquieu has died. His work is well regarded by all Englishmen. For all your fishing needs, come to Captain Hornbills. Whether a fleet or a weekend angler, he's got everything to the I'm looking for Mr. Church, Mr. Benjamin Church. Take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. The news of our times is have our surprise, but they all plead ignorance. Fuck of that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it! The crime is done! The killer's gone! Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. So he says to church that one way or another the debt would be settled. I don't envy the man. These grim times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat to the road. <laughs> good call, that. The area's definitely suffered a decline in character. Indeed. All manner of Arifs and natty lads now walk the streets. Why, just earlier today, I had a run-in with some. Do tell. It was down by the church. A group of men comes rushing through when one of them suddenly falls to the ground, all torn up. I thought about going to see if he needed help, but a look from one of them changed my mind. Probably for the best. Those aren't the sort of people you want to get mixed up with. I need you to focus. Easy for you to say. You didn't just watch your friend die. Recall what happened as best you can. There were three, no four of them, all of clearly ill repute. They carried a fifth. He was bruised and unconscious. Thomas the Fool tried to offer aid, so they cut his throat. And then they moved on, as if it were nothing. As if it... Which way did they go? I... I, I don't know. I was focused on trying to stop the bleeding. Come on now, try and remember. That way, I think. I asked if I could help, and they waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. So he says to church that one way or another the debt would be settled. I don't envy the man. He's grim times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> good call, that. I've asked the criers. But they all plead ignorance. Fuck of that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it! The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. I asked if I could help, and they waved me away. 
insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. I asked if I could help, and they waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. So he's his to charge. But one way or another, the debt would be settled. I don't envy the man. He's green times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> Good call, that. I need you to focus. Easy for you to say. You didn't just watch your friend die. Recall what happened as best you can. There were three, no four of them, all of clearly ill repute. They carried a fifth. He was bruised and unconscious. Thomas the Fool tried to offer aid, so they cut his throat. And then they moved on, as if it were nothing. As if it... Which way did they go? I... I, I don't know. I was focused on trying to stop the bleeding. Come on now, try and remember. That way, I, I think. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. What? Where? Where? Locked. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gauche. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe... I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No! Hold a moment! Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier! I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time! <sighs> 
I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. Commoner's dirt, Cutter. And proud of it. Just a quick little swipe and no more is. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be fair to more of your name crap. Maybe you will get you pass out. So I dare say I'll do me best to ensure that doesn't happen. Hold still a minute. I gotta decide where to start. Fjord. Who? Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. 